Welcome to Firearms of America. Today I am back here at Shooters in Fort Myers, Florida about to do another review of Ruger SR22 and the reason why I say another is because I have actually already done a review of a Ruger SR22 and if you're wondering to find it on my channel please don't because it was absolutely horrible now this time I don't guarantee doing a great review in any way but I'll do my best to make it much better let's start of course with some shooting now SR22 chambered in 22LR three and a half inch barrel very very popular gun from Ruger there are a lot a lot of color variations there is an option with the threaded barrel there are a lot of modifications customizations available for this particular pistol because it is so popular um, now with the three and a half inch barrel it can be a pretty good option for uh, concealed carry of course it's very lightweight as you can see very lightweight uh, very compact but not a lot of people are fans of the 22 LR for the concealed carry or home defense or anything like that plus with the capacity with a magazine capacity of only 10 plus one in the chamber it's a little bit low on capacity nevertheless I think it is a great gun to have if you want to have some fun on the range because the recoil in this gun is practically non-existent and uh, I'll try to demonstrate it right now so let's take a look i think i will try to get that orange little circle right there on the top and we will see what we can do with it all right got a little bit of a jam right here as you can see the round did not feed in properly you can see the mark from the slide not very good all right and a lock back on the last slide now, um, in my previous review that I have just done, I was reviewing a Glock 44, I was actually talking about this SR22, this specific gun, being a little bit picky about this ammo right here that I'm using for this gun. Um, one misfire could have been my handling, so we will do some more shooting just to see, but in my experience, this ammo is just not a very good choice for this gun the good choice for this particular gun is the cci I never had a problem with that one so what can i say about the gun i do like the grip it is a very nice rubbery piece uh, kind of reminds me of the old classic smith and wesson revolver grip right although you don't really need that much grip here on this gun because the recoil is practically non-existent but nevertheless the shape of the grip i think is absolutely fantastic now you also get two different magazine base pads right that you can replace one with a little bit of sticking out piece so kind of have that uh, pinky guard right now the magazine release button works perfect the magazine itself i do like a lot it's very easy to load obviously if you're familiar with 22 you already know uh, mag release is ambidextrous pretty good however the slide release is not ambidextrous keep that in mind although the safety is i don't know why ruger did not just make a ambidextrous slide release as well so it's like good for uh for the lefties out there okay so let's do 10 more rounds see how it handles now this particular one trigger is single double action which means you can do both you can do single action or double action everything i have been shooting so far have been in single action but i will demonstrate the double action right now as well because it's a little bit of a different animal okay so mag in, magazine in and let's see if i can hit that lower uh circle right there so single action Got a same misfit right there. Let me show you the double action. Now, if you engage the decocking safety, 
As you can see, it decocks the hammer, and I know a lot of people, it gives a heart attack to a lot of people. I'll show you how to deal with it. So right now it's safety engaged, safety released. Now the trigger is back, and now it is in double action. So let's see how the double action works here. Obviously, the trigger now becomes much heavier. And now it's in single action again. All right, so we had a little bit of of a hip hiccup there with this particular ammo again. Now, let's talk about the trigger. Now, as you can see, in the single action, it's actually very nice. It has a lot of travel, but it's a very safe, familiar travel, probably about good six, seven millimeters. And then after that, you have a very crisp break, which I think is fantastic for this gun, I like it a lot. But let me demonstrate you the double action. Now the double action, it doesn't have that much of a pre-travel, so it's only about two millimeters. And then you have that first action happening, 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 it's very heavy. And having snap. So what this people who it is good for, right? If you carry, and if you don't like to have the safety on, and you want a heavier trigger whenever you carry, this is a pretty good option. So, and now I, I, I want, cause I said the, the decocking mechanism, it kind of makes a lot of people nervous because the ha hammer, one of the reasons is because whenever you engage decocking safety, you have the hammer drop. So scary, right? So what you can do is while engaging the safety, you hold the hammer with your thumb Engage the decocking safety and then slowly, slowly put it back in and then disengage the safety and now it's in double action, ready to go. Uh, a few things that I wanted to mention I think is a little bit of a design flaw, one of the probably main design flaws here with this gun. I like everything about it, uh, apart maybe it being a little bit picky on the ammo as you can see. Not a big deal though, just buy the ammo that, yeah, you know, it's really not that much of a difference in the price or anything like that whenever it comes to the 22 LR. But I think one of the main flaws, design flaws here with this gun is, if you grip it like you would grip any other gun, right? Resting your thumb on the safety, you can accidentally, very easily, especially with a little bit of a recoil, engage the safety because the safety is down. I think it is a bit of a design flaw. This should have been a firing position so that you're holding it and shooting it and you are staying there and it's fine. And then if you want to engage the safety, you flip it up, if you know what I mean. I think this is a little bit of design flaw. All right, a few things that I do like about this gun. Okay, mag release works perfectly. I like it a lot. I like the trigger, I like the slide. If you prefer the pistols, what happened here? If you prefer the pistols that have an easier slide to rack, this is definitely one of those, very easy to rack. Um, another thing that I like, of course, standard sights, nothing crazy over here, just the basic three dot sights, which I do like. Now let's put 10 more rounds through it and we'll try to come up with a reasonable conclusion. Now Ruger, they have been around forever. They have been manufacturing firearms forever. They have plenty, plenty of good guns out there. Very reliable. I personally have a few. This is mine, SR22, and I also do have an SR9 that I never had any kind of problems with. Uh, this particular one, at the end of the day, the only things, the only two things that I can say sort of a negative is that, again, not that much of a negative, is that a little bit picky on the ammo, but we will see right now, 10 rounds, 10 more rounds. And also that little safety, I, I just, when, whenever I shoot it, I really do need to pay attention and not holding my thumb on the safety, but holding it underneath the safety. And it's kind of, if you're used to gripping a gun a certain way, it's kind of sometimes a little bit uh, tricky to switch between the firearms. So. Let's try to finish up that orange one. As you can see, I just put the thumb on the safety. So no, under the safety. All right, let's see. All right, 
Perfect. We got a couple of bullseyes. Lock back on the last round. And not a single malfunction. I malfunction. I'm very happy about that. So on this note, I think I can say that pretty good gun. I'm definitely happy to own it myself. I think even though 22LR is not a very popular round whenever it comes to concealed carrying or a home defense, I think it's a great round to enjoy on a nice day. Um, in the in the in the range you know because it's just it's it's so easy you can shoot hundreds and hundreds of round in a day and you're not going to get fatigue from it you just enjoy the experience of shooting without getting tired so overall i do like my Ruger SR22 let me know in the comments below guys what you think about this review if you have any requests drop them in the comments below and i'll be happy to address them thank you very much guys for watching this was firearms for america i'll see you guys in the next video